comes to the seventh Imam alayhi salam and they say to him, they say, look, Mawla, I've come from Ray. Ray's in Iran, right? All of Tehran today would be covered by Ray. So he says, Mawla, there's so much taxation in Ray, I can't afford it. But I know that the Hakib of Ray is your Shia. Can you help me? Mawla says, don't worry. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim writes a letter. In that he says, know that a person has our salvation, our shafa'ah, if they do three things. Either they help their brother, or they make their brother happy, or they re remove a difficulty from their brother. Wassalam. He says, go to the Hakim and give this to him. This man gets on his horse, goes back to Shahr Ray, goes back to the city of Ray. When he comes into the city, he goes to the house of the Hakim, knocks on the door. He says, I brought a letter from Imam Musa ibn Ja'far. Hakim was by Ma'rifa, with Ma'rifa. He comes running barefoot. And as he comes running barefoot, opens the door, kisses the man, kisses the letter, puts it on his eyes, opens the letter, kisses the man again, reads the letter. After that, understands. He says, oh person, what is your need? Tell me. He says, look, taxation is too much. He says, let me half your taxation then. Half said, says, go home. I'll pay for it. Pays for it. Next year, the same man goes to Hajj, comes to Imam Musa ibn Ja'far. He says, your Hakim, your Shia there, paid for all of my taxation. I'm very happy. Imam looks up and he says, I'm even more happier. And do you think I'm just the one who's happy? My Jad Amir al muminin is happy. My grandfather Rasulullah is happy. Allah is happy. Know that when you help any of my Shia, we do dua for you. Right? We do dua for you. But look, if I just leave it like this, you'll think it's an amazing story. Let me take it a step further. A person comes to your sixth imam. 